So you've banished the cult, taken the outposts, and now you're wandering around spoiling for a fight, but not really finding it. What do you even do at the end of Far Cry 5? We've got some ideas to help you out. Let's talk games. Live events. Our first bit of advice is on Tuesdays and buried in the menu. Seriously, it's not that easy to find. But if you can get there, go sign up for live events each week. They consist of challenges that give you new outfits and weapons. Week 1 saw sliding animals on fire without using a flamethrower or a Molotov cocktails, which was actually a lot of fun. Week 2 has players heading over to Arcade, which we'll get to in a bit. We're not sure yet if these live events will keep Holland Valley interesting. Far Cry doesn't have any rare weapons to chase or particular reasons to chase them like gear sets in the division. But we've had fun coming back a few hours on Tuesdays and screwing around with a friend. We'll keep doing it while the challenges are fun and the rewards are good enough. Remember that you can reset all the outposts in the game once you've beaten the story. And that helps find reliable fights quite a lot. Arcade if you've had enough of Montana and want some escapism from your escapism, then maybe it's finally time to listen to what this obnoxious NPC has to say. Check it out! This game lets you kill your pupils. This game's awesome! You can play with your friends! You gotta try this! Best game ever! Far Cry Arcade lets you create, share, and play maps with the community. While the quality can vary quite a bit, there are some real gems out there if you know what to look for. The best part is that folks like you are uploading new maps constantly, so every time you fire up the game, there's going to be something new. And if that's not enough of a draw, every time you level up an arcade, you get a bit of cash or skill points that you can use in the story. There's even PvP if you can find a match. Bullseye. Fishing. For some reason, a lot of you are searching for fishing on the internet. I'm just going to assume you all want to relax at a nice stream or a lake and haul in a nice bit of peace and quiet. Plus cash. Fish for a lot of cash. Maybe even want to fish with a friend. Work together to land that one that got away. Woohoo! Free fish! Build a freaking air force. At the start of Far Cry 5, when you're trying to escape across the bridge, and a federal agent is like, oh my god, they have an air force! Well, some odd hours later, we have a freaking air force. And it's our endgame obsession. First off, you have to fully commit to the idea of air power by hiring the king and queen of the skies. So, if you need a pilot who can shoot the dick off a gopher from 50 feet in the air, I'm your gal. Grab Adelaide Drubman by completing her set of objectives over at the Drubman Marina, and Nick Rye from Ryan Sons Aviation, who can perform strafing and bombing runs, as well as shoot down enemy planes. With a helicopter and plane above you, it may sound like you live on an airport runway, but that's kind of the idea. Next, treat yourself to one of the better helicopters in the game, or if you don't have the cash and haven't done this already, go straight to the Pin K0 radar station and liberate it to unlock one for free. Personally, we like the H04B Foxfly with its guns, rockets, flares, and high-speed maneuvering. We're still not clear on why there are flares in this game, but eh, it looks cool. For even more fun, bring in a buddy and start tooling around swinging from the bottom of their helicopter, or have them ride in the back and blow crap up. You want to take a helicopter that has more than two seats, because if they're stuck as the co-pilot, they'll only be able to use their secondary weapon. And that's it. Fly low, hop from place to place quickly, and get some of that fun back. So are you messing around with Arcade? Hitting the live events? Hunting or fishing? Or just waiting for the first DLC to drop? What do you enjoy doing after the campaign in Far Cry 5? Give us your best suggestions in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Uh, she did it?